Uh, it, it is really good to be standing here in front of all of you. Um, at my age, it's just pretty good to be standing. <laughs> my wife and I got great news this week. Uh, it, it, it's kind of a miracle. Um, after decades of trying, we're expecting our first child. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to move out of the house. <laughs> I, uh, my two-year-old granddaughter FaceTimed me the other day, and she was so excited. She's like, Papa, Papa, I made it through the night, and I didn't wet the bed. And I was thinking, wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> when it came to raising kids, I was clueless. My wife, and I think maybe women in general, they just know what to do. And I really didn't know. And my wife went out one day, she goes, I'm going to go grocery shopping. It's a short list. I'll be, can I trust you and leave you home alone with the kids? I'm like, Psh, sure. My wife comes home. She goes, why are you washing the baby in the kitchen sink? I said, because the dishwasher was full. <laughs> she said, where's his sister? I said, why do you think the dishwasher's full? <laughs> I don't drink. Because I developed an aversion to alcohol at a very young age. Uh, I spent like eight or nine months totally consumed in vodka. And then, thank God, my mother gave birth to me. <laughs> so I was talking to my mother the other day. <clears throat> You'll be glad to know that she doesn't drink any more than she did when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> she was all freaked out. Somebody hacked her Amazon account, and she goes, how could that happen? And I said, well, Mom, somebody knows your password. She said, that's not possible. I don't know my password. <laughs> she's telling me about her newest boyfriend, and it's like every time I talk to her, she's got a new guy in her life. I'm like, Mom, where do you meet all these guys? She said, oh, there's a website for people my age. It's called carbondating.com. <laughs> and if you didn't get that joke, let me just tell you this. My son gets that joke, and he's an idiot. <laughs> you're cruising down life's highway, everything is going great, and all of a sudden, bam, your uh, check engine light comes on, and next thing you know, you got aches and pains and stiffness. I'm stiff on every single part of my body, and my wife's sitting there going, not every part. <laughs> I'm not a hypochondriac, but I swear this stiffness is early onset rigor mortis. <laughs> and he's stiffer and they're going to embalm me. Speaking of embalming, you know what job would suck? Being a mortician would suck because the day after you die, you're back at the office. <laughs> I got a pacemaker now. And uh, so when I travel and I fly, I can't go through the x-ray screening machines. I have to uh, get patted down by the TSA guys. And by patted down, I mean groped. This guy groped me the other day. I, I was violated. I got in his face. I said, dude, can you show my wife how you do that? <laughs> and you can let go now. <laughs> you ever notice when you talk to people my age, we seem a little confused? <clears throat> it's because you younger people have changed the meaning of words we've used our whole lives. Like a hacker, that's somebody with bronchitis. <laughs> if something goes viral, you need to see a doctor. Yeah. And friends with benefits, it's just a friend with Social Security and Medicare. <laughs> My sister actually doesn't have kids. She actually couldn't have kids. She has an affliction. She's a bitch. <laughs> She's a mean, nasty, miserable bitch. And she just, like in high school, she was voted most likely to have a house fall on her. <laughs> Somebody said she can't be that bad. <laughs> Are you kidding? When I was a baby, she wanted to get me a rattle with the snake still attached. 
So we just put her in hospice, and there's nothing wrong with her, but we're hopeful.